One other thing that spring means, especially late spring, early summer, as everybody's graduating, mm -hmm. Mother's Day, then it's going to be dads and grads. And then it's door-to-door -door salesman time. Oh, just the best time of year, isn't it? In Idaho Falls. Now, I have heard mixed reviews on Vivint salespeople in particular. Oh, really? Saw a little something about them on some forums that wasn't exactly complimentary. Look, first of all, you can put up a no soliciting sign on your door and solicitors have to honor it. If they don't, and even if you don't have a sign and and you know want to confront the door-to-door -door salesperson, if they're unwelcome, sometimes they might not be. I get that. Great. Good sure. for you. Um, I remember there was a rash of cleaning guys. Yes. Do you remember? And they would, they would, some of them would even, you know, you'd open the door and they'd go, Hey, check this out. And start right. using the product right there on your door sill or whatever. Yeah. Something like that. On your threshold. Mm -hmm. um, you can always ask to see their license. Door to door oh. salespeople need to have a license from the city of Idaho Falls. Interesting. And, and you can ask to see it. And I don't remember the name of the cleaning product, but it was X something, okay. X Factor, X20, Excellent mm. something. I've seen a few right. on the internet. And I even saw a couple of like viral videos where the guy was really working it. And I would have given him my 40 bucks for a bottle of his cleaner. Uh -huh. But the guy I had at my place was not like that at all. He was just obnoxious <sighs> and annoying. And now there's all those neighborhood apps that right. you know, you can sort of warn you either Facebook neighborhood groups mm -hmm. or ring doorbell groups or whatever, where you can sort of warn your neighborhood. Yeah. No, I remember hiding from the the door to door sales guys. <laughs> yeah. You know, pretending yeah. we weren't home. <laughs> I actually bought. Eh, it's probably twenty years ago. We had a door to door salesperson come by with Kirby vacuums, and I was like, "That's incredible! That's an incredible!" It was a lazy Saturday. Mm -hmm. I had nothing going on. Right. And owned the Kirby for 20 years, but then I switched to a Shark because they're lighter weight, a little make bit, less yeah. noise, noise, and I think they do the same thing. Right. You know, my grandma actually bought a vacuum from a door to door guy. I think she paid like a thousand dollars for it. Like it was a hell of a vacuum. I think my Kirby was like eight hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Spendy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know, it's a damn good vacuum. But if the, if you don't want. Uh, solicitors coming to your door, you can get a no soliciting sign from mm -hmm. Home Depot or Lowe's. Yeah, They've or got all just sorts. your local vinyl lady. And yeah, and there's and they're supposed to honor it. Yeah, as part of their license with the City of Idaho Falls to do that sort of thing. I do want to know how hard it is to get one of those licenses. I think you pay the fee and walk away with it. You don't even have to do fingerprinting. I don't know. It's a great question. I feel like you should have to. Because then if there is a crime, Follow they should be able week. to know who it is. Yeah. 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 If they scope out your house and come back later. Yeah. And there should like they should have to have fingerprinting done. And I feel like they should have to have some sort of like registered business well, that they're associated with. And I just, I mean, I would not want to be in that position anymore. I No. Instead of ringing my friend's doorbell, I text them and right. say, I'm here. Mm -hmm. I don't even... Who rings the, who knocks on doors anymore? Yeah, right. Well, and also as a Chihuahua owner, the last yeah. thing I want you to do is touch my damn door, uh -huh. <laughs> you know? Or even talk outside of it. Right. Yeah. You better walk up like a ninja, completely silent, and then text me and I'll let you in. Otherwise, my dog is going to start barking and he's not going to stop until you either, well, until I open the door so he can see that there's nothing there and he shouldn't be barking or until you come in. And even then depending on who you are. And if you make eye contact, he might still bark. Well, there are other creative solutions to this too. I think the best one I ever saw, and it was at a friend's house and they knew I was coming, uh -huh. but they did have a sign on their door that said, baby sleeping, mom will be grumpy if you wake her up during the nap. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was funny because they didn't have a baby. Oh. But that was their idea <laughs> of really just Tugging on the heartstrings. Right, right. You know? Yeah, and honestly, brilliant, dude. Right. Yeah. I don't want to... Look, man, we have the internet now. I right. can't believe that door-to-door -door sales are still a thing. Here's another thing about door-to-door -door salespeople that I've heard before, though, especially with the cleaning product ones. They will show you a sample 
with one that's like 10 times as strong as what they actually sell you. Oh. Have you heard of this? I have not. Oh, yeah. Like it was a whole... I wouldn't put it past them. Yeah, it was like a whole scandal at one point where like the thing that they showed the person was like amazing. And then they went to clean the same tile or window or whatever with the one that they bought and it sucked. It was like way diluted. Yeah. Yeah. Not doing that. Which wouldn't surprise me either. So along the same lines, I saw a post this week. In fact, I've seen a few of these now where somebody will post an Amazon package that got delivered to their house saying, this isn't mine. Yeah. D- does anybody know this person? Mm-hmm. And conversely, I've also seen, you know, now that we have an Amazon delivery or distribution center right here at the corner of I-15 and Sunnyside in Idaho Falls. Mm-hmm. Um the new way that they'll, the, I say new, it's been in the last, what, year? Sure. Where now you'll get an email from Amazon saying your package has been delivered and it'll oh, show your best. package on your doorstep. Mm-hmm. I, I got a buddy who lives in an apartment complex with like 15 buildings that all look the same. Right. It'll show him the package. It'll look like his door because it looks like any one of the other thousand doors mm-hmm. in the complex. He'll open the door, nothing. See, and that's why you need a creative... Uh, doormat. Oh, yeah. that's that solution. I've got a friend who has a really funny one that says, it's not a crack house, it's a crack home. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was really funny. 